So here we have a Renault Kangoo electric van and in this video I'm just going to show you how you change your 12 volt battery up front. So this van is the uh, ZE33 with the 33 kilowatt hour battery pack under the floor there. The same will also apply to the previous generation with the 22 kilowatt hour battery pack. So if you come up to your van in the morning and the central locking isn't working on your key fob then either the coin battery in your keys has gone flat or probably more likely it's the 12 volt battery under the bonnet which has gone flat and the way you work out which it is is walk around to your passenger door because on these the manual lock is on the passenger side because they're French use the the old-fashioned key blade put it in the lock and unlock it that will unlock that door you can then reach over open the driver's door and get in and start the vehicle if the vehicle then starts you know the 12 volt battery is fine and it was just the uh, key battery in here that you need to replace if it doesn't start and the dash is dead and it's all looking dead then what you need to do is open the bonnet and get to the 12 volt battery and then to open the bonnet the catch is just here and you slide it that way so you can slide it that way and then open the bonnet there and there's your 12 volt battery so at this point you could charge the battery whether you're going to use jump leads from another vehicle or a battery charger but I've done another video on that subject because you want to be a bit careful when you're charging the battery, particularly if you're using jump leads. So do have a look at that. I'll put a link at the top of the screen and in the video description below. But this video is just going to be about replacing this battery completely with a new battery. So to replace this battery, it's very easy, uh, but the tools you'll need is a 10 millimeter um, socket just a small one you might just get away with a ring spanner you'll need a 13 millimeter socket ideally on a long extension bar to get the battery clamp out at the bottom of the battery again you might do it with a spanner but I think you'll struggle down there with space of so getting your hand in there and moving it so really you want a long bar and uh, you may also want a screwdriver so as with all vehicles before you disconnect the battery obviously just make sure the vehicle's switched off you've got the keys out the ignition uh, the doors are unlocked as well ideally um, shut the door so the vehicle then shuts down but typically you would wait two minutes before disconnecting the battery but most likely in this case you're doing this job because the battery is already flat and the vehicle will be asleep and there will be no charging um, DC to DC converter charging the 12 volt battery so it won't be an issue but anyway if you want to be completely safe just leave it a minute or two before you disconnect the battery so then all you want to do is disconnect the negative first a long um, reach socket is ideal for this but just get to that nut there on the back of the negative terminal loosen that and then you can remove the negative terminal if your Kangoo van has the alarm, you will have this very thin black wire here and that limits where you can put this negative um, wire. Sometimes they do snap at the spade terminal there, but that's what that thin wire is for. It's if you've got the alarm, which is actually this is the um, bonnet switch here. So you have all of that and that wire if you've got a factory alarm fitted. So in this case we do and it does limit where you can put that negative wire. Hence why that is often snack because people would naturally want to put that wire there out the way. And then disconnect the positive terminal. This one is a bit more awkward because even when that's released like that, this lot isn't going to come up because all of this is one whole lump and it's attached to the battery with these spring sort of clips either side so you've got one there to release and another one there and that is where the screwdriver is likely to come in handy because you can then just lever that side out and as you saw that then all pinged up get that one out as well and then at that point you can lever the whole lot off as well but with these, you don't have much room to get all this out of the way to then lift the battery pack up. But you've just got to wiggle this around without breaking that little alarm wire to get all this lot away. 
and sometimes you'll have extra wires here which is going to limit it all but you just basically want to get that out of way get that away enough that you can then lift that 12 volt battery out so next we've got to remove that clamp down there this is where you're going to want a 13 millimeter socket on a long bar to release that and this is where I need to use my other hand which isn't ideal when I'm holding a camera I didn't quite undo that but you then don't want to drop this down there which is quite easy to do so with that out the way you can then lift this battery out but I'm going to need two hands for this because I've got to keep all of this out of the way but you can now basically just lift that out and drop in your new battery so that's the battery out and you'll notice these have a uh, plastic tube on this side this is your vent tube so sometimes these fall out they do just push in like that so you need to keep that and put it on your new battery and that just goes down the side and pushes down that little aperture there so this battery was probably the one that was fitted in the factory. I don't think this van has had a battery since. It's quite a new van. And as you can see, it's made by Varta and it's a 70 amp hour, 72 amps. And there's the Renault part number. But anyway, I'll put all the dimensions of this battery in the video description below. And also a list of all the common replacement batteries that you can source in the UK. So when you get your new battery if you're not in any rush and you've got a battery charger then it is worth just charging your new battery up on the mains overnight before you put it in the vehicle but if you haven't got time haven't got one of those and you're in a rush and you just want to get using your vehicle then it will be fine you can whack it in and start using it so when you get your new battery they will have these little plastic plugs in either side so when you're getting your new one when you're looking at it with actually goes in the van this way around doesn't it so when you're looking at it with the positive terminal on the right hand side you want to remove the plastic bung in this side and install the vent tube and then leave the plastic bung on in this side so when it comes to dropping in the new battery obviously you want to make sure that the negative terminal is on the left positive on the right this is a two-handed job so i won't be able to film it because you've got to maneuver that lot out the way while you drop it down and they are very heavy batteries so unfortunately i'm gonna to have to put the camera down but it's just the reverse don't really need to show you that so with the battery drop down into its cradle just give it a little wobble and make sure it's all seated properly and then this drain tube ideally you want to just make sure it's hooked down into that little cavity on the side of the tray but basically that just wants to be venting down and then put your positive terminal on first make sure that's pushed down and then that's clicked either side and then you can do that up with your spanner or your 10 millimeter socket so when that's done up tight you can then get your negative terminal on make sure that's pushed down very tight and then do this one up as well I haven't put the battery clamp in yet so I'm just going to push that back there and then we want to put this battery clamp in and there should be a sort of spring washer thing on the back there which just stops the bolt coming away from the bracket when you turn it upside down so at least you don't have to worry about that dropping out so it goes in that way not the way i'll just put it in you'll probably want to just sort of drop that down so it sort of gets close and then get your long bar on it to wiggle it into position to get the bolt into its thread so yeah usually with a long bar on there let's just um 
remove that. Usually with a long bar on there you can wiggle that bolt around to allow it to find its thread and just make sure that that base metal bracket is clamping the battery base should I say there and once that's in place then knit that up tight there. So that's it and at this point obviously with the new 12 volt battery and as long as that's measuring 12.5 volts the vehicle will now start and run. It will also charge if you need to put it on charge because if this 12 volt battery is flat the vehicle won't start and the mistake people make with electric vehicles is assume they can connect in their charging cable and it will start charging and charge the 12 volt battery but that's not the case if your 12 volt battery is flat the charging circuit will, will not enable as well so this has always got to be at 12.5 volts or at least at 10 volts for the vehicle to start or the charging to start so as i said all the information on that battery and all the um, possible replacements you can buy are in the video description below so if you found this video useful please do click that thumbs up button as always do subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about electric vehicles and if you want to know more about the Kangoo van have a look at the playlist again I'll put a link in the video description below where you can see all the other videos I've made on these Renault Kangoo electric vans